Well, hello everyone. I'm back. So what's happened since last video? Well, the Akabi is back on the bike. Look at that. So it's actually, um, well, it's, it's the first time I've had a look at Akabi, but looking at some YouTube videos, this one is in quite a good nick. It was pretty clean. I didn't really have to do anything. All the, um, the jets were super clean. Everything was, um, yeah. Very clean, there's no jelly sort of stuff in there. So I don't think it, it must have been run not long ago, this bike, I reckon. I'll have to sort of get to the bottom of when it was last running. So Kirby's back on. Um, I've learned a few other bits and pieces uh, about the bike. So I now know where the um, cam chain tensioner is, which is on the other side up there, poking up there. <laughs> Hopefully I won't have to touch anything there, but we'll, we'll see. Um, I've gotten very familiar with how the coolant lines are running and also how these vacuum hoses all work and what, you know, what goes where and what, what does what. And I've got the tank back on and now I'm thinking of maybe keeping the tank. I'm changing my mind day to day. Uh, not quite sure what I'm going to do there. But yeah, looking at maybe keeping a tank rather than going to full Cafe racer style, but you never know. I might change my mind again. Who knows? All right, so the other thing that I can tell you is I've ordered the bits and pieces that I need just to get it rolling, and, and that is a battery. Uh, I'll do a separate video on it. Um, I've ordered some air pod pot style air filters because I'm not putting that other air filter back on. It's just too much of a hassle. Uh, it's not going to work. So I've got some air pod air filters. I'll show you. How they're going to work. I need, I need two of them. So they're going to sit like in, on top of these two, right there. And I think they'll just fit. Um, hopefully I won't have to dodgy up anything, but uh, we'll see. But yeah, so two little air filters are coming for here. And the other thing that I bought online is a um, oil filter because it's going to need some oil. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I'm not going to spend a lot of money on oil. And so far in my research, Super cheap has the cheapest oil. It's about $14 a liter at the moment, so that's pretty cheap. So I think I'm going to probably end up going just a bit of that and uh, get the bike running and see how it goes. So yeah, um, this is a, a there's a bucket full of information on the internet. There's been quite a few people doing this, um, you know, upgrading this bike and maintaining it themselves because you know it's a cheap bike and people are going to DIY. Yeah, good progress today. Learned a bit about the bike. Uh, learned a lot about the Carby. Uh, check out the other video. I'll post it separately. Um, yeah, but um, definitely really enjoying this process. So yeah, stay tuned for the next one.